Hey, what's good guys? Thanks for tuning in to my Shades and Souls channel. Today we're going to be talking about my third Champions Tank 16 pickup. It comes in the LeBron Soldier 1. So since this is part of the Champions Tank 16 or are the Champion Collection, most of the boxes have this tally right here with the 16. The box tag reads Zoom LeBron Soldier CT16 QS at 150 retail. And on that same side, we can find the uh, NBA sticker. Inside the box, we can find this gold uh, letter by the association. It's the same letter I read you guys uh, when I did the KD4 review. Now it's time to go to the most important part of the review, the shoes themselves. Here we go, this is the Nike Zoom, Zoom Soldier 1. CT60. The outsole pattern, we have a herringbone right here and on the lateral part you can find like a diamond shaped um, outsole traction pattern. I don't know if that's gonna work or not but it does look like something that's gonna last last you guys outdoors. For the middle part of the outsole we can also find a plastic shape plate right there. On the right here we can find where it's family and fearless. And on the left pair, you find passion, vision, and wind. One thing I like about that classic shank plate is that LeBron's uh, logo is popping out right here. Now let's talk about the midsole of the shoe. Midsole is actually using pylon rubber, but it utilizes what they call double last. What that means is the midsole is actually encased or enclosed by the materials of the upper. So you cannot see the midsole right here because that's inside of the uh, upper material. Another detailing right here is LeBron James's name. The upper materials actually has a lot of overlays as well. So you can see from the toes down to the middle part is tumbled leather. The straps on the medial part and the heel are also leather. The leather part in this section is actually softer than the toe cap area. Now in between this part and the toe cap area is a navy blue plastic. Now when I tried fitting on the shoe, it felt snug in that area. I believe it's because of that plastic material. Also on that plastic material, you can find that number 23, the bronze number. On the top of the shoe, we can find mesh material. On the top of the tongue, you can find the bronze old uh, logo, that lion logo. This one I think is rubber. The lacing system on these, I don't know what they're called, but they actually feel really nice. Once you uh, snug them in and fit them right on your feet, once your feet is in there, it actually feels really nice. For the straps of the shoe, as I mentioned, they are leather. The swoosh is white, outlined by a gold color tip of that strap is also gold but plastic. The hinge on that strap is actually gold as well but plastic too. The heel strap, I honestly thought that the heel strap doesn't work or doesn't have purpose. Uh, I've spoken to Nightwing about this and he actually said it actually works. So I can't attest to it yet because I haven't played on it but I trust, trust my boy's word when it comes to those ones. Also on the upper part of the shoe, we can find another leather overlay right here. That starts from the outside going inside to the medial area. Gold eyelets for the laces. You can find LRJ touches right there. And inside the shoe, we can find a number 16 patch that most of the Champions Think 16 collection has. On the right pair, we can find the tally of the number 16. And on the left pair, we can find the words the association and the insole. For the lining of the shoe, and inside the shoe is actually heavily padded, and I like how it feels. Now, my, I also ordered an 8 half, but until that comes, I cannot really say which one to go to. I'm gonna go try the 8 half and then on my 9 as well. As soon as it comes, I will post it on my Instagram which sizing I went with. 
And last but not least, the best part of the Champions Think 16 collection, in my opinion, is the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Now, I don't know why the Kobe Pro Tros didn't have this. I don't know why the Last Shot Jordan 14 don't have this neither. Both those shoes don't have the Larry O'Brien Trophy and uh, the number 16 on their boxes. Why? I don't know. Um, but it is what it is. That's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate you guys if you do subscribe to me. Comment down below what you think about the shoe. Do you like it? Do you not? Are you a fan of the Champions Think 16 or the Art of a Champion collection? And if you do have this shoe, are you going to play in them or are you just going to rock it? Thank you guys for watching. This is your boy Diesel from Shades and Soul signing out. Peace out.